there's always that adjustment thing, and this is something I'll talk about more in depth when I start talking about uh, topics such as high school and college. But uh, it's definitely an adjustment to go from high school to college because there is a. It's not really so much that the work is more difficult, and I've mentioned this before, but it's the fact that college. The work sneaks up on you because you're not in class all the time. You're kind of expected to spend more time outside of class working on high school stuff than you did in, or did I say working on high school stuff? You're expected to spend more time out of class uh, working on college stuff than you did in high school because in college, it's more about the studying. It's more about the, uh, the essays and whatnot, and that all takes time outside of class. So the work can sneak up on you, and it's not that it's difficult. Again, this depends on what classes you're taking and what major you are, but... It, it's definitely a little bit more subtle about how the work creeps up on you, and if you uh, procrastinate a lot, like I can do occasionally, it'll definitely uh, cause you some problems. But do I have? Yes, I have plenty of iron ore, so let's go ahead and make our way back to the surface. And it's about time to start talking about the uh, topic that I want to talk about. I just wanted to wait because I want to have the uh, episodes be a little bit more... Uh, what's the word? I want it to be... Let's see here. How do I get out of here? I want it to be a little bit more structured. I don't want to have to break it up uh, right as I get into a, a different topic because then, you know, you go to the next episode and you're kind of like, wait a minute, what was he talking about again? I have to go back and refresh yourself and that would be kind of annoying. What the hell happened right there? I didn't even press escape in my game pause. So that's cool. Hopefully nothing happened to the recording right there. But let's go ahead and make our way down here. Now the task is to find my way back to civilization somehow and all right here we go aha here's a staircase out of dirt that i made cool yeah, i definitely spent some time down here off camera as well because i had to collect some supplies off camera and all that jazz but thankfully i didn't waste too much time down here or you know cancel out too much of the adventuring that is yet to be done in these caves and again i'm not sure how the tale of kingdoms mod is going to work out quite yet but i'm looking forward to how that whole thing will shape up and, you know, how I'll integrate it into the series and whatnot. And when I integrate it depends largely on how long it is before I get bored of uh, regular vanilla Minecraft. And holy crap, get out the sword because there's a guy right here. Look at that zombie and his brain's just sticking out. What an ass. And now there's another one over here and he's got on purple pants. What a typical zombie. And he dropped two rotten flesh. What a fatty. What a fat zombie. It's gross. All right. Come on, need to get in here. Need to sleep so nothing kills me. So now we'll go ahead and make like a, a lava fountain. So that way I can get rid of unwanted materials and kind of reduce the clutter all around. See, now my stuff is already messed up. And I'm not really sure where I want to put this. I think it might be good to put it like right over here though. Let's see, like right out here. Will this be good? I think this is going to be good. So let's go ahead and make it out of cobblestone. Um, do 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 i going to make this 3x3, three three, I believe, so let's go ahead and do that. And this. Alrighty here. This is good. Go ahead and do that. And fill this in here. There we go. Go ahead and make, like, a uh, step on each side, I suppose. Huh. How do I want to do this? I'm not sure. Kind of... Man, I wish I had moved it out one block. In fact, I might have to do that because this isn't going to work out. The way that I had intended for it to work out. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually do this. Sorry for being dumb, but I'm going to nitpick about stuff like this. Going to have to get some stairs and whatnot too. So let's go ahead and just move everything over by one, one block here. Because I want to have steps on all sides. And it's just going to look weird if it's like conjoined with this thing. This, uh, this entrance to the, the uh, mine shaft tunnel, whatever you want to call it. And let's see here. All right, all right. Where's my shovel? It's right there. I'm trying to think and commentate at the same time can be a pain in the butt sometimes, especially when I'm, like, persistent about getting stuff done without wasting too much time. Like, stuff like this, I don't really like to have it take up too much time. But here we go. Now we're good. Now we're in business. So let's go ahead and do this. And all righty, I think that'll be good. Go ahead and do that and throw up the lava right there. Oops, didn't want to do that. I want to throw it right there. That is good. So now all I need is a stone slab and also some stone steps. So let's go ahead and do that. Get stuff in the works here. And in fact, while I'm doing this, let's go ahead and throw some iron ore in there and throw some coal. I have plenty of coal now. This is good. It's been a decent amount of time working on getting uh, supplies and whatnot. So on to the main topic here. I think I've spent enough time talking about random bullshit that needed to be talked about. 
And uh, today's uh, topic is about stress, pretty much. This is something that I mentioned earlier in the uh, first part of this batch, but wanted to wait a little bit longer so it would be a little bit more concise and whatnot. And what was I doing again? I was making stone steps. I always have to concentrate on what I'm doing at the same time. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but... Oh, butt, butt. Um, God, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> uh, so stress, it, like... I'm no stranger to stress, and I know a lot of you guys probably watch my videos to either relieve stress or take your mind off of stress in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I've realized, like most people that watch me, are going to be in the age group of 13 to 17, and then the next most common age group is like my age, 18 to, uh, well, I'm 19, but my age group, I should say, 18 to about 25 or so. I suppose that would be my age group, like kind of like the uh, still young adult. We're adults legally, but I, I still think a lot of people in my age group have some room to grow, so there's that. I still need to make a stone slab, so I'm going to have to go do that. But, yeah, the thing with stress is I, I've been dealing with stress a lot, especially over the past nine months or so, I want to say. And part of that is the issues that I talked about during the uh, depression deal, the whole... Uh, deal with depression and dealing with kind of always being brought down on a daily basis or just in general when you're... All right, how am I going to do this? I think I know. Need another block here. Go ahead and put that up right there and do that. And now I can break all of this stuff. So, all right. Didn't put up the pickaxe. And there we go. So now we have like a lava fountain here. Go ahead and throw this right here. And now we can just use this as like an, an eternal trash can of sorts and... Get rid, of, get rid of all the unwanted items. Go ahead and throw that in there. But uh, usually what I do when uh, coping with stress or large amounts of dealios in my life that'll cause problems, what you want to do is kind of take your mind off of it or take a step back and not spread yourself too thin. That's kind of the problem I had and the problem that I've continued to had or continue to have, I should say, uh, very recently. I've had this problem with always being... Uh, under this extreme amount of stuff to do like you, you, there's always so much to take care of and so much to deal with that we have to deal with in in life and whatnot and um you know the key is to take a step back and always reevaluate uh, how much effort you're putting into everything because that was my problem usually what I'll do I'll spend too much time on my sport which is hockey or I'll sp spend too much time on you know working on trying to get school stuff done and what am I doing right now I'm making ladders so this is dumb uh, go and do that, and there we go. So yeah, spending too much time on schoolwork or doing YouTube stuff or doing music. So that's four things in my life that are uh, pretty big parts of my life, and it takes a lot of time to you know maintain those things. And I need more wood, so this is great. In fact, let's go ahead and kill this tree over here. Do I have dirt? Yes, I do. I meant to do this earlier, but there's no time like the present, right? Better late than never, I suppose. Whatever. Do I have those shears? Uh, I have to go get those shears. Great. So yeah, um, I think that's the problem that a lot of people have, a lot of us have in general. I mean, it's good to have so many things to do because it keeps you busy and it keeps you always on your heels and, you know, you never feel like you're not getting anything done. But sometimes when you have too much to do, uh, it'll feel like you're not getting anything done because there's just so much and you spend so much time worrying about getting stuff done that in the end, you get nothing done and that really sucks. That's the worst feeling in the world where you feel like you've got so much to do and instead of actually doing stuff, you end up doing absolutely nothing. Those are the worst days for me, and I have them every now and again. Usually that makes for a bad week or a bad weekend or a really bad day. And I, ha I kind of had one of those days last Friday. For those of you who watch uh, my Skyrim Let's Play, uh, I had one of those days where it was like I meant to get a ton of stuff done that day. So I had the weekend open for hanging out with friends or doing homework, etc., preparing for finals or doing other stuff in general for the channel. And as it turns out, I had massive recording issues trying to get Skyrim done, trying to get a, a decent amount of Skyrim done. I ended up getting all that Skyrim done, but it took me like four or five hours to figure out all the problems with recording. And that is just the worst feeling in the world. And I'm sure you have those days, too, where you're like, OK, I've got homework to do. I've got I've got, you know, I've got like, you know, baseball practice or basketball practice, football practice, whatever it is that you've got to get done. Maybe you've got to hang out with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Maybe you've got friends to hang out with. Maybe you've got so much stuff on your mind, so much stuff to do that you're trying to work out how you're going to get it all done. 
And in the end, you don't get anything done. And I had one of those days on Friday. I mean, I got some stuff done. Like I said, I got the Skyrim done. But I also wanted to get Dragon's Dogma done that day. I also wanted to get Ghost Recon done that day. And I also wanted to get uh, TNT done that day. And as it turns out, the weekend uh, held a little bit too much for me to do. I had other, like, school stuff that I was trying to get done. So here I am on Monday getting TNT done with little to no time left on the clock here to get things rendered and good to go. It looks like I'm going to actually make a pretty decent time, but all in all, it is still such a pain in the ass when you've got so much to get done and um, you, you just don't get half as much done as you were planning to get done. And believe me, I know how that feels, and I'm sure a lot of you deal with that feeling. I mean, with so much to do, and I, like, I know I counted for me, there is the whole... Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to kill this tree. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and work on getting some more leaves. But I had to work on getting videos done, getting schoolwork done and studying done, playing hockey because I still play hockey on like a twice a week basis, I suppose. If that's even a, uh, a phrase I can use. I, I play hockey twice a week, and that takes a lot of time because you have to drive out to the rink and, you know, suit up, put it, play for like an hour and a half, two hours, however long you're going to play. So that's usually like an entire evening, like between 5 o'clock to when I get home and go to bed. That's pretty much all that is, and that's twice a week. So between hockey, school, YouTube, friends, and my music that I'm still always trying to work on, but for me, uh, I can't really be too productive with my music unless I'm sitting down for hours at a time. It's kind of like hockey or YouTube where I really have to get in the zone, and I really have to uh, focus all my attention on that, and I can't do that with all this stuff. I have going on right now. I realized, I realized this probably about a month ago or so, or a month and a half ago, that if I'm going to really uh, make the most of my time and be as productive as I can, I'm going to have to let music take a back seat and also force that to be kind of a hobby and not force it, but let that be something that I really enjoy. It can't be something that I come to each and every day like, oh God, now I have to, I have to work on this and I have to make sure I get this recorded or work on this vocal piece or this lyric or whatever. That, and, and in the end, it actually hurt me a lot. And I'll probably talk about that um, later on in the future. Pro not the near future, probably a few months down the line. So I guess actually that is kind of near, but that's not... For some people, a few months is like an eternity, and I think I got all of the wood that was in this tree. So that is good. Let's go ahead and cut this down here and pick up all of these stray pieces of wood that fell to the ground. And I think there's an apple over here. Yes, there is. Sweet. I am so good. Look at me. I'm collecting apples all over the place. But so, yeah, I had to let music, uh, you know, just kind of be something that I really enjoyed again. It's not something I could force. And I wasn't even getting anything done when I was spending so much time on it. So... This summer is going to be a different story, though, and I'm going to keep that kind of hush-hush. I already have a bunch of stuff in store as it is right now, a bunch of good stuff, stuff that I'm actually pretty confident in, but it's, it's going to be something that I'm not going to put too much time into until, you know, finals are over, and that'll be in a few weeks. I got one week of classes left starting with this week, and then uh, my finals are the, the week after, and I'm not too worried about them. The only problem I'm going to have with uh, finals and whatnot, let's go ahead and sleep here, is that uh, it's going to be hard to kind of get all the studying done, get all of the note-taking done, and just all of that. The cramming is going to be the hardest part because I have to continue to make videos and all of this stuff. And I'm talking to you guys all about this random bullshit in my life that some of you might not even care about because it's to let you know that I still get it done and I still, you have to keep on trying. You can't ever give up. That's like the worst thing. I mean, I real, you'll have days like that. You'll have days where it's like, you know, the stress is just going to pile on. You're going to have like an essay to do. Like, oh man, let me tell you guys this in a little bit. But you're going to have days where you have so much to get done and you're like, there is no way I'm going to get that five to ten page essay done. There is no way I'm going to be able to study enough in time for this final. There is no way that I'll be, you know, conditioned well enough for this tournament that's coming up next month. There is no way that I'm going to be able to uh, keep up with my friends and be able to hang out with them. They're going to think that I'm just, you know, I don't care about them anymore because of all the time I have to spend doing whatever it is I do. And uh, you're going to have days like that. You're going to have days where it's like, holy shit, there's no way that I'm going to be able to be productive. There's no way I'm going to not fail. And that's kind of the mentality that we all have at some point or another. I'm not going to deny that at all. I think... Uh, I have those moments quite a bit, actually, where it gets so overwhelming that you're like, holy shit, man, there is absolutely no way um, that I'm getting all this crap done. There's absolutely no way that 
th th there's just no chance in hell, man, that it's going to happen. And let's go ahead and throw up some ladders here. And I think we've got the tower good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish things off right here. I think what I want to do is make the uh, the top a little bit wider so there's more room. So we'll go ahead and do that. But, uh... Yeah, and that is such a pain. Like I, I feel your 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 pain there. I feel your agony if you go through moments like that. And eh, it's not something that's fun at all. But the light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that if you keep trying and if you keep pushing forward, that everything will work out. And uh, all the all the time that you spend working on you know your school stuff or you know relationships with friends or your significant other or dealing with uh, you know school don't know if i already said that or your sport or your job or whatever it is you know if you keep on trying then it all works out and you know it hasn't all worked out for me quite yet i'm still getting there i'm still pushing forward but the thing is if you give up then you're never going to know if you could have succeeded it's one thing if you know you get beat down to the point where it's like you know you enter a state of depression and i already talked about this last time but the, the thing is you have to you 